Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Cookie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on a single new video. In this video, following up from our Side Hustle Small Business Gang series, I'm going to share three ways to automate your business so you can focus on the things that you love to do. Now, a lot of people start a side hustle or a small business out of genuinely loving what they're doing or even being really good at it. But before you know it, they're caught up in the mugginess of having to deal with transactions, customer service, marketing, creating leads. And in this day and age where everything is so instant, a lot of customers expect what you're offering immediately at the tip of their fingers. So many side hustle or small business owners start off by engaging their audience or their ideal customers and tapping into them from various social media avenues. This could be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, you name it. In this video, I'm going to share a few things that you could do to streamline the process that your ideal customer or client has to go through to enjoy your service, your content, or your product. The first thing is to batch your content. What does this mean? I mean, create enough content that you're able to share as often as possible on your social media, in your email. This could look like doing a photo shoot or two. In this photo shoot, you could change your outfits, showcase your product in different ways. For example, if it's a planner, you could take a photo shoot in an office, you could take a photo shoot in a playground, having a picnic. There are very many avenues that you could have. But when you do, make sure that you take as many photos as possible showcasing the product, how it's used, and don't forget to take photos as well as videos. Your content could also look like quotes if you're providing a service, quotes or infographics. So if you're, trying, if you're providing a service of business consultancy, maybe you could show an infographic of the ideation process or the design thinking process so that whoever sees your content is able to understand potentially the service that you're going to provide. Maybe they're inspiring quotes. On the Lifeline Designs page, we have a checkerboard type of system where we show the product or an image and then the next post is always something inspiring like a quote or an infographic showing something that could help nurture our ideal clients and customers. You could also make sure that you have all the information on your upcoming events. So make graphics for that, take photo shoots for that pretty early on. Make sure each month you have 60 things that are a mixture of photos, videos, quotes, infographics, event posters that you're ready to share with your audience. The second thing is to set up email automations. So if you watched the previous video, which I'm going to link in the description, I shared all about how to grow and nurture your email list and turn it into sales. So setting up email automations looks like already writing out the copy for your emails at the beginning of the month. If you are sending out a weekly newsletter, make sure that the copy is ready or the drafts of the copy are ready in the first week of the month. So all you have to do is edit as well as schedule when the different emails will be sent out to your ideal clients and customers. The third thing is to set up auto responses. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, these are pretty easy to set up. You have to make sure that you have a creator or a business account. You can go to Facebook Business Suite and you can set up your automated email. That way when someone messages you 
at midnight there's already an automatic message that says hey we're going hey customer we're going to respond to your message within the next three four eight hours you could also go into detail and say more in this auto response this is an example of the lifeline designs auto response where we share how long we might take to get back to you where you can find our frequently asked questions the most useful link that will show you all the things that we've likely shared on our social media as well as videos to watch in case you're not familiar with the process of online shopping so in one chunk we're able to share as much information as possible and we have found this to be pretty useful for example we went from this to this and this gave our customers nothing this usually led to our customers solving the problems themselves but speaking of faqs that's the next point so faqs frequently asked questions but one way you could do this is by setting them up on facebook i know you're able to set up things like question boxes where your customers or clients can immediately ask for for example your opening hours your delivery dates what services you provide when they go into your messenger or your dms another thing you could do is set up your faqs in an instagram highlight We've created a highlight where we answer questions from how to input your checkout code, if we have gift cards available. As you grow your brand, you're going to notice there are going to be some questions that your ideal clients and customers ask you all the time. This is the time to answer them. But also remember, keep this updated. For example, when it comes to delivery hours, make sure that you're keeping these frequently asked questions updated to reflect um, the new advances in your brand or business. Lastly, when it comes to these FAQs, the frequently asked questions, is you can set up instructional videos. Something from how to click the link in your highlight, how to make a payment. I know one of the questions that we got very early on was how do I make a transaction online? We set up and screen recorded how to make your transaction through your desktop as well as through your phone. And usually when people ask, these are sent directly to them. But also remember we highlighted it in our auto responder so that they can go directly to our IGTV to watch these videos. Set up fun and really informative Instagram videos, reels, or short video clips that can show your customers or clients how to do certain things within your business or how to access your products. The next thing is to auto-schedule your posts. You've batched all your content, so now is the time to set it up so you don't have to worry about having to get your phone out or having to post every single day. Um, Instead, use an auto-scheduler like Leta or Panali. We use Panali and it's incredible. For the first six months, we used the free version, which is very good. It gives you 30 posts per month and you can set it up, lay it out in the way that you'd like to see it in your feed, write your captions, add hashtags, and schedule the times when you would like for your post to be when you'd like for your content to be posted on your Instagram page. What this does is you don't have to worry about, you know, actually posting, making sure the size of things is correct. All you have to worry about is going into your different social media platforms and checking on the comments or the direct messages that have, that have come from your customers accessing your content. And speaking of finally, they have a free version and a paid version and we eventually ended up getting the paid version because whereas the free version gives you auto scheduling and auto posting to your Instagram, the paid version gives you auto posting to your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. So you're able to be available on the various uh, platforms. 
but what you can do is you set it you, you set aside a day to really put all your content together and make sure it's set up so you can post at least once a day remember consistency is key when it comes to marketing and showing up for your brand and then last but not least make sure you have set up clear transaction methods i personally don't think there's anything more annoying than the following things one someone asking me to dm them for the price if i go onto your page and i see your product and i check in your link the link in your bio and you don't have your website set up or links that could you know potentially take me to where i'm supposed to get your product and then i come onto your comments and you tell me to dm you for the price after me asking how much something costs then you've lost me and i know there's so many people who feel that way people are weary of accounts that one in the caption they ask you to dm for price and two when they scroll through the comments every person who has commented is asking how much however your response is check your dms or dm us that immediately shows the lack of customer care and good customer service so before you know it you've already lost a third of people who could have been your ideal clients or customers transparency is key if you're selling something it is crucial that your customer or client is able to purchase it or make the transaction at their own convenience if your customer wakes up at 4 a.m and you're not awake at 4 a.m how are they supposed to get the price if they wanted to buy it at that point that's when it's itching them make sure that you set up systems that allow for them to be able to be pulled in and to put that money into your account rather than you creating several roadblocks on the way to getting your bag so how can you do this make sure you set up a website or set up links make sure you set up links for example in your bio where people can pay if it's a service that you can set up an account with flutterweb or with dpo where they can give you direct links for payment um, that your customer or client can use the other thing is if you are accepting mobile money or cash and delivery be sure to make that clear in your bio or in your caption say this is address it costs this much you can pay on airtel money here or uh, mta mobile money here or you can pay cash and delivery we deliver on these dates make sure all that information is there in case you do not have a website or a couple of links set up but the best option is to set yourself up with a website as soon as possible honestly it is not that expensive to get an online store and buy your domain and set it up you can pay the annual fee i think most on average most website providers charge between 150 and 400 dollars um, for an annual plan so think about putting that in your budget set up your website put your products on there with their prices that way if you have a sale it's so easy for them to also access if you have a coupon code your customers can use it so set that up and give your customer the luxury of sitting at home at whatever time of their choosing and being able to make their purchase and then and also fully understanding how when they will receive their product or their service so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope those tips were useful and i look forward to seeing more and more people implementing them because it personally hurts to watch people make some of these mistakes that i've also personally made in the past so um it's it will be good for you to implement these that way you're given time to really focus on creating more content creating more beautiful products creating and having more time 
with your clients, to coach them, to provide your service, to educate them, to show up on your stories or Instagram Live and have conversations and just have all of this running in the background. Because if it's all well automated, all you have to do is expect direct messages or comments that actually are engaging with you rather than asking you how much something is. Instead, you'll get comments like, I have this, this is amazing, or I've used this service, I recommend it. Focus on the reviews and bettering the experience for your client rather than getting stuck in the nitty gritties of, oh my goodness, what time am I going to make this post on Facebook or on Twitter? So allow yourself and cut back on that time that, that you could better spend doing something that's going to grow your brand. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, comment, share, like. And if you'd like for me to dive deep into any of the points that I've spoken about today, let me know which one in the comments. See you next time.